Hello and welcome to this uh, quick overview of Lawyers Hub. So Lawyers Hub is a legal practice application that helps users uh, to be able to streamline their businesses and achieve efficiency. So as you can see, our landing page is our dashboard and with regards to our dashboard, you can be able to see things around matters, appointments, expenses, timesheets, and this is very, very much configurable uh, with regards to what uh, you'd want to see. Uh, other dashboards include the uh, legal dashboard, which probably will be seen by a managing partner and they'll be able to see the overall statuses with regards to the matters, invoices, timesheets, and any other configurable items that they'd want to see there. Uh, we have a dashboard again for appointments and this just shows uh, the appointments by the week due and you can be able to see the trajectory of your meetings, you can be able to see the categories as well as the owner and the priority. Here is where we capture the clients that we are working with. Uh, you can be able to get into one particular account and you are able to capture the details of that particular organization, the address information, uh, get to see the tasks, the appointments and every other thing that is happening with regards to that particular account. All emails that your communication that will be happening with this particular organization will sync in here and you're able to track that. Uh, you're able to add in contacts that you're working with in that particular organization as well as uh, look at the active matters that are tied to that particular organization. Matters. Here is where the, the juice of the system, and within active matters, you are able to, you know, associate a matter with another. You are able to uh, denote which practice area that particular matter is in. You are able to define the stages uh, for that particular matter as well as the statuses. Uh, you are able to capture things around the description, around the dates, and uh, as well as capture tasks, appointments, expenses, timesheets, invoices with regards to with regards to a matter. Tasks are basically any activities that we are working on uh, for, for a matter, for example, if you're preparing briefing documents, you'll be able to record that as a task. And uh, uh, if you have an appointment, a meeting, whether internal or external, you want to be able to denote that here. Now, these two are important with regards to creation of timesheets because, uh, you know, all these have time uh, that is recorded on them and they will contribute to the timesheet entries that we'll be doing later. Uh, another a good feature that we have here is with regards to budgeting and for, you know, uh, mature uh, legal practitioners or practices, uh, they would probably go a uh, level ahead to want to budget for specific matters or for specific cases. And uh, with that, the, the system accounts for, you know, you being able to create what we call budget uh, categories and subcategories where you're able to track things that you want to, you know, uh, look at uh, from a financial perspective in terms of estimates versus actuals and that is what the budgeting uh, module is here for. Expenses, basically anything that is happening with regards to that particular matter, you've gone out, you know, you've traveled, uh, you have uh, purchased something with regards to that particular matter that will be recorded here and it will also go through approval. Timesheets as well. So timesheets is where I would come in and would, like I mentioned earlier, relate this to either a task or an appointment, or if it's not related to any of them, then you wouldn't have to necessarily do that. And so this is what I was showing you, or telling you about. So you can associate it either to an appointment or to a task, and you can be able to tag that in. If once you do that, then it will be able to take in the time that was the duration that was taken for the appointment. It will put that in there, and this rate is configurable uh, within the settings area where each particular user uh, is configured with a specific rate, so they don't have to. End to this manually this is calculated uh, based off of their profile the hours is coming from the appointment and then the calculation is done um, automatically there and then you have also we've configured also that the approver also comes in here automatically based on the profile of the user so very very really neat integration in there the other things that we can do is you can uh, uh, do invoices and the invoices now are going to be based off timesheets and uh, the expenses as well as any you know flat uh, fees that we have so this is how an invoice would look like you have your header information and your invoice lines and this is just a summation if you want to see the areas from which those particular invoice lines are coming from then now you have this particular view here which will just denote your flat fees will denote the expenses that are related to that particular invoice and the timesheet entries that are related there give you a summation of each of those particular areas. 
And then uh, last but not least uh, is uh, document management, which is also very, very neat. So here, what we have done is we've been able to integrate this with uh, SharePoint. And therefore, when you create a matter, uh, it will take that particular ID and create a subsequent folder uh, on the SharePoint side. So for example, once you log in here, you're going to be able to see if I tap and see here my case files. You can see this case file debrief. I can come here and add a Word document as well. I would say this is a demo file. And I would save that in there and it will open that particular demo file on SharePoint. And here, now the beauty of this is that uh, we can now start collaborating. Yeah. Uh, the beauty of Lawyer's Farm is that it is neatly integrated with Office 365 and therefore you are able to take advantage of every uh, you know tool that comes in with Office 365, for example, collaboration. You know, you're opening a Word document online. Somebody can be able to come and do this and edit on desktop, and it keeps you know uh, the version history and just keeps all the work neat uh, and in one particular place. On here, if I want to trace its location on SharePoint, I could just be able to click on that and. You would see it opens for me the folder. There's a whole folder here for the practice area, and then there's the case file there denoted by the case number and the case title here. So, depending on how your practice would want to have it, we could be able to just uh, tweak this to fit what you're looking at. If we click on the case files, you should be able to see the case file that appeared in the minute also. I will go through the settings area, and in the settings area, we have things around uh, your configuration. Uh, you'd want to do your taxes, uh, so you'd probably configure them here so that uh, people do not have to enter them manually. So, just select the tax configuration. You have configuration for countries, and in case you're working uh, uh, beyond uh, the boundaries of your, your locale, uh, we have the budget categories and subcategories. These are uh, tweakable based on your organization. Uh, the subcategories are definitely linked to the budget categories. Uh, we also have practice areas, and within practice areas this is very important because we use this practice areas to be able to create your integration with SharePoint so based on uh, if a matter is created within the business law then we're going to have a folder for business law and all matters under business law are going to be there because we anticipate that uh, probably for some organizations uh, uh, different practices would want to see their files in in a, in a certain particular place and we can be able to cascade things around uh, security roles and uh, privilege access privileges to SharePoint as well so that only the people within that practice are able to access this particular file and lastly, there's the user profile. So this is where we also configure, you know, things around uh, uh, the user that we're going to have, uh, tying that to their Active Directory. So if you're on Office 365, this would be your Office 365 login. And we're able to say what your role is, you're a partner, you know, this is your practice area, this is your rate per hour, this is your approval. Yeah, so all this is uh, put in or yeah, uh, filled in within the user profile. And then this can be used now within all the approval. So this is basically a quick rundown of uh, Lawyer's Hub. It's built on a, a power platform, which is a, a, an, a solution stack within the Microsoft ecosystem, meaning that you can be able to leverage uh, uh, things like Teams, uh, you can work from Teams, you can work from uh, Office 365 Outlook, you can also have a mobile app that you can be able to work from uh, with Lawyers Hub. So uh, that is just a brief snippet, uh, more to come. Thank you very much.